Whoa! It sure is windy out here today. And in today's lesson, we're going to talk about wind speed. And we're also going to talk about oh, how to build an anemometer all by yourself or with just a little help from a parent. Enjoy! Woo! Well, hey there. I want to go outside and play, but it looks a little windy. Wait, who's that? Wow, that's my friend Becca. She's a meteorologist. A meteorologist studies the weather. I better go see what she's up to before she blows away. Here I come, Becca. Whoa! This is crazy. Whoa, wow. This is great. Crazy. Top of the morning to you, Becca. Becca, how can you tell how windy it is out here? This is crazy. Hi, Courtney. It is windy today. We are going to build a homemade anemometer. It is a device that will demonstrate how wind speed is measured. That sounds great. We'll have one just in time. <laughs> here are the materials you will need. Four paper cups, two straws, one pencil, tape or glue, and a straight pin. Ask for help from a grown-up. Now this is sharp, ouch. so ask a grown-up for help with this. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Wow, this looks great. Let's get started. Oh, that was a wind. Step one, get your two straws and make them into a plus sign like this. You plus me equals fun, Becca. Step two, tape your two straws together. Step three, poke a hole in the top side of each of your four cups. Step four, insert your straw into each of the holes, then glue or tape them to the cups. It should look like this, not like this. Step five, with the help of a grown-up, push the straight pin through the straws into the pencil eraser. Step six, you can hold your anemometer with your hand or secure it in another object. Ta-da! This is an anemometer which measures wind speed. It's a very common instrument used by meteorologists at weather stations. See how the anemometer is moving slow? This is a light breeze, which is under 12 miles per hour. Moving air fills the cups, causing them to spin. The speed of the wind is determined by the number of rotations in one minute. I'm going outside for a walk. You can do anything when it's this breezy. Now the anemometer is moving faster. This could be called a strong breeze, which is up to 31 miles per hour. When it's this breezy, you could fly a kite. That's great. Wow. Whoa. That's great. Wow! Now it's spinning really fast. This would be called a moderate gale. It was at 32 miles per hour. Anything faster than this, you should stay inside. Wow! This is not that great. Yikes! Wow, that lesson sure was a breeze. Oh, Cordy again. 